Well, Connor decided to have a little bit too much fun last night. <laughs> so we missed our bus this morning, so we're going to take the bus overnight via executive option. Highest option. Only 100 pesos more. It's like way better than Greyhound in the United States. I mean, we have Wi Fi. They gave us a sandwich, a drink. We have our own TVs. Like these huge seats. <laughs> the ultimate fucking redneck in Mexico. <laughs> Arriving in Guadalajara, we realized that the public bathrooms can be pretty frustrating. Humiliating Potter. That bathroom. So, okay, you have to pay money to get in. It's got like a little like like a circus around thing like you would have at a stadium, right? And um so, oh, I see, I see a couple people go in that way, put a little money in, a little old lady, money in. Goes right through, okay, okay, great, great, I'll, I'll watch what they do, I'll do exactly what they do, okay, so I put a little money in. And it stops, I can't go through, that was my last point. The estacion de autobuses was pretty far from where our host lives in Zapopan. Now, we could have just taken an Uber and that would have been inexpensive according to normas estadounidense. But we used an aplicación móvil called Ruta Directa and the consejo of our host to encontrar the dos líneas de bus. We needed to arrive at her casa on the other side of the ciudad. All for solo 28 pesos or around $1.40 US. We just got here. A beautiful little place. Our host made us an amazing meal. Vegetariana. Her name is Jessica. Jessica. Our other host. Dory. Jessica quickly took us out exploring. About two seconds ago, it wasn't raining at all. Torrential. Look at this. We went to the mosque. Grande Parque in Guadalajara. They have trampolines, <laughs> they have running trails, they have a beautiful uh, parque for dogs. We met another dog owner named Sal, really, really cool hombre. We were just talking about how sick will that Guadalajara is. Uh, he, he grew up in East LA and he feels mucho más seguro here in Guadalajara and we've heard that from a couple of people that it's a pretty seguro uh, place. If you're on the news about you know the cartel war and everything it's kind of bloated you know it's the same everywhere really you just gotta be smart gotta know where to go and um, you'll be, be okay. We're in the park the biggest park out in Guadalajara and Zapapan we just met the most hilarious guy, <laughs> but he was just telling us he's been to LA four years, but you know, he's experienced some prejudice in his time. He and said, uh, as long as we're good and nice to people, that this is our country and that we're yeah. very welcome. Home. Yes. He was drinking he was, Miller too. He was drinking fucking <laughs> Miller. Big thing of Miller. <laughs> yeah, and we just love we just love being in Mexico and everywhere we go we just see our hometown represented. It's awesome. Or, or we see Harleys or whatever. I figured it was about time for a check-in with my mom over Skype. Yeah, we've been uh, filming a lot. We've been meeting a lot of people. Um just experiencing, you know, what there is, the different parks, the different uh, landscape, scenery, nature, um, food. The food here is amazing, Aunt Cindy. So, it's beautiful, the food is great, the people are awesome, so why would you want to come home? Great question. I don't think we are. Do they know you're a gringo? Oh yeah, look at me. <laughs> are you doing well with uh, speaking language, John? He is, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm trying. <laughs> Everybody speaks English. Poco a poco. Can I force her? Do I say hi to my mom? She doesn't speak uh, Spanish, right? No. Okay, no. 
Well, I'm not so good speaking in English, but <laughs> um, they are very helpful here. So I'm having a great time here with them. You hear that? We're helpful. Yeah, no, not really. I think that I am being lazy with them here because they wash the dishes and they <laughs> cook and they take out my dog. So for me, it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> So probably I won't let them go. <laughs> they love Canadians down here at yeah. City. For some reason, everything's got Canada all over it. Yeah. We have Vancouver Wings. And the Cuban play. Canadian influence. And Jessica's you know, insulting us for being gringos. So, yeah. you know, being from Wisconsin, we're just gonna remind everybody Wisconsin. that we're, we're basically from Canada. <laughs> so what are we gonna do now, eh? Show us around, eh? Here in Mexico, the ladies think Canadians are hot. <laughs> we need some hockey, we need some maple syrup, and just pour it on the bitches, man. <laughs> so basically what you're telling us is that the only stereotype you have for us is that we're fat. She just likes picking on Americans. She hates us. <laughs> it's that you it's are a all prejudice. The time, you are all the time like, oh, Canadians, a Canadians, a Canadians. We quickly became comfortable with Jessica, just like she was our sister. As necessario to understand that in Mexico as the same as in the Estados Unidos. At least when your roommate as a woman. I've been sent in a mission that is to buy maxi pads. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right at the last second, too. That's what happens when you have a man put on your makeup. What kind of eyes do you like again? She wants to wear an Asian guy because they have small eyes. <laughs> 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 Balance it out, I guess. The yes. only small thing right here that I have. Oh. I just pointed something peculiar out to uh, John. That car detailing place that you see was a restaurant last night <laughs> with full signs, menu, and everything. And this morning, we walked by again, and it's a car detailing place. Would totally be uh, not okay It'd in the United be, States. It'd just be the most <laughs> illegal thing. It's pretty freaking awesome in my opinion. Go Mexico. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us, you guys. I hope you enjoyed learning a few Spanish cognates along the way. There's a vocabulary list in the description. If you enjoyed it, like the episode and subscribe because all of the episodes in the Guadalajara series will be focused on introducing new Spanish cognates to you. The music was from Guadalajara as well, the band Collateral Soundtrack playing the song Buen Dia. You can check out more of their music in the links. See you in the next episode.